around to see how we made this really impressive ladybug craft with wings that actually move. And my kids just love this one, and I know you will too. So stay tuned. What a wonderful Hey everybody, it is Cheryl the Activity Author and I am here to bring you another really cool, really easy craft today. Now before we get started, don't forget to like this video because I already know you guys are going to love it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know every time I post a new video, okay? And I also have an Instagram where I post lots of shorts and lots of creative ideas, so follow me on there as well. All right guys, so let's go ahead and jump into it by having your child paint two different plates, black and red. And the good thing about this is that it does not take long for these plates to dry. I think the plates dried right after our snack. We painted the plates, we let them dry, and then after after snack, they were ready to go. We came back and jumped right into it. So after your plates are dry, you're going to take a black piece of construction paper and cut out a bunch of dots. So the way I did it was folded up a little piece of black paper, I cut a bunch of dots, and then I put glue all over the plate and my daughter actually did this by herself, she's three. She put all the dots on by herself. So you're gonna put the dots on the red plate only. And you're gonna take uh, the rest of that black construction paper. Guys, look at me, I'm making the head for the ladybug and I made it red because I wanted to be different and creative, but I actually like it better black. So ignore the red construction paper and just follow everything else that I'm doing. <laughs> and you'll see later that the ladybug head goes from red to black, very funny. But I told y'all, man, we, we basically make these crafts from scratch and I just create by doing. So sometimes you experiment and sometimes you like what you see, sometimes you want to change it and it is what it is but I do want to give a special shout out to my girl Hensley and her mom and her grandmother for inspiring me to make this craft I went over to their house and I saw that they made a ladybug and I was like oh that is so cute I want to try to recreate that for my channel so shout outs to you and thank you so much for always supporting my channel and commenting and liking and just being there and doing my crafts I really do appreciate it all right guys so I'm gonna take a hole punch right now and I'm gonna a hole punch right at the nape of the turtle turtle it looked like a turtle don't it <laughs> until i changed the head <laughs> but in the nape of the the ladybug's neck so i'm gonna take that string and i'm going to tape it onto the plate just like that so now your kids can pull it around the house and make him fly and all sorts of things but yeah this part is cool look at that he, he seriously looks like a turtle. Uh, Y'all, we got to change the color of that head. It's coming. I will realize soon. <laughs> All right, and now you're going to take your uh, wings, right? And you're going to put a hole right at the top so that the ladybug wings can join at the top together. And you'll see what I'm talking about, just like this, okay? And then you're going to fish it through on that string, just like this. And then I'll show you guys how to fasten it. And the very last step is just taking that short little pipe cleaner that you cut earlier, stick it through the hole, the same hole with the string. And then you're just going to fasten it by kind of twisting it until it turns into a ball. And it'll kind of be like one of those uh, fasteners. I don't know those, you know, those gold fasteners that they have in school. I don't have one. So I'm kind of making one with this pipe cleaner, but I am turning it until it turns into a tight little ball, just like this and it will secure your wings enough and they will still be able to move and flap like this. Yes, so that is all you need to do. Y'all see, this turned from a craft to a puppet real quick, didn't it? You never know what you're gonna get on my channel. Oh wait, we forgot to turn the head black. There you go, that is much better. Now it looks like a ladybug. Um, go ahead and take you some construction paper as well if you wanna add some um, antennas. I think that makes it look more buggish. And I'm just gonna let my daughter stick those right behind the head, just like that. And it's all done. Now let's go and see how my kids enjoyed playing with this.
Well, as you can see, they are still enjoying themselves and having a blast and still playing with this ladybug until this very second. So thank you for making it to the end of this video. And guys, don't forget to like the video, take pictures and tag me on Instagram and click that logo right there in the center to subscribe and click on uh, one of these two videos to keep watching. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.